look at what Michigan did, and like Dan said, it's not even close. It's not close. So I don't really know where the controversy is. Florida should be the team there. Had USC won out, USC's resume would have been better than Florida's because of their, the way they, they, they schedule their non-conference teams and they win those non-conference games. So I think you've got to look at the entire landscape of a system, Stephen, before you start talking about somebody getting, someone's getting jobbed and that team's getting jobbed. I, I, could, I consider myself educated, Matt. Let me move on. Gators coach Urban Meyer was actively campaigning for Florida while Lloyd Carr was relatively silent in Michigan. Should self-promotion matter at all to the BC as voters. Dan, I'll start with you. Well, I think it does. I mean, I think the reason Urban Meyer was campaigning is because he thought it might work. Uh, you know, I have no problem with what Urban Meyer did. He did whatever it took to get his team into that game. At the same time, I respect that Lloyd Carr didn't get involved in that. That's not the kind of guy he is. That's not what he claims the values of the Michigan program are beyond winning and losing. And I give him credit. He walked the walk on things he's always talked about. But I don't have a problem with what Meyer did, but I do okay. respect Carr from stepping back. You know what, Matt, hold on, hold on, Matt. Before I, hold, on, hold on, Matt. Before I get an answer to you, I want you to hear what Lloyd Carr had to say. I want the world to hear what he had to say. Let's, let's, hear, let's listen to the sound. I think it's going to be uh, a, a great controversy. Uh, I don't care uh, who gets selected. And because, um, you know, I just think that um, based on some of the comments uh, the Florida coach has made in the last two weeks, uh, campaigning strenuously uh, for a berth in the championship game and making some statements about Michigan uh, that I think were uh, inappropriate, um, uh, you know, I think that, that that certainly is going to stir a controversy. Matt, you heard him. Go ahead. I know you want to chime in. Go ahead. St Steven, just beat Ohio State, okay? <laughs> they, they had their chance on November 18th to beat Ohio State and all this speculation. Steven, at the beginning of the season, the syllabuses are passed out. Everyone knows what they have to do. Everyone knows the safest, surest way to get to the national title game is to win every game. If you lose, then all of a sudden, you now become... Uh, where, where you're having voters saying who wins and who doesn't win and who goes and who doesn't go. So you know what? Just win every game. Their chance but, was November 18, and they blew it. I got you, Matt, but let, let me ask you this. Does this current mess give us the biggest argument against this whole BCS system? Do you think so? Steven, I love the BCS. Love it. I what? absolutely love it because I, I think warts and all, it keeps us away from everything else about pro sports. It keeps us away from the NFL and every, everyone else that uses different systems. This is the way it is. This is the beauty of college football. This is why it is more popular than it's ever been right now, Stephen. And you know what? There are problems All with right. it. There are warts with it. And you know what? I love it. This Dan Chapman, Dan Chapman, real I, quick. I, I Tell I me just, you don't I'm agree with this. I'm not going with, I don't believe ugly is beautiful in this case. <laughs> Playoff is superior. I'll say this. As bad as this system is, they have figured out how to milk it for every last bit of publicity and controversy going. And there is some perverse enjoyment in that whole system, but a playoff would be so much better. Matt, Dan, appreciate the time, fellas. Thanks a lot. I think we're going to be talking about this for a very long time. I appreciate the time, fellas, though. Thanks a lot, my man. Take it easy. In a few minutes, I've got the one and only Chuck D in the house talking about a new book on the poetry of Muhammad Ali. And of course, UFC brawler Tito Ortiz is here with his notorious lady friend. But first, let's take a look at some of my top stories with the little three and out, please. First up, bad days for Brett. A month ago, when he won three out of four games and had the Packers looking like they might be back, Brett Favre was very happy he decided to come back for another season. But after three straight losses, an elbow injury, and five interceptions during that span, Brett is feeling a little blue these days. Following yesterday's 38-10 loss to the Jets, Favre said, quote, I'm glad I made the decision to come back, but I never thought I'd be a part of a game or, ga of a game or season like we've had the last two years, end quote. Well, Brett, all you got to do is look around you, my man. You don't have any players. Donald Driver could play. Armand Green can play. But they're a little bit older. They're beyond their prime to some degree. And you don't really have anything else. This kid, Hawk, the rookie, he's nice and he's going to make an impact. But the team, by and large, is garbage. The Green Bay Packers are not very good. Now, I know that's not a very popular thing to say with all the cheese heads and Lambeau Field and all the tradition and history. But get over it. You guys can't play. You look like garbage. And I hope that you get better because... Because right now, it's bad enough that people out there got to deal with the cold weather. You understand what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't made for that. But to have the team that you have with people sitting in the cold weather, freezing to death, watching y'all play like trash. I mean, come on now. Get over it. Next up, confidential information. The San Francisco Chronicle filed a motion Friday with a federal appeals court on behalf of two journalist rights to keep their confidential sources 
Confidential. Battling a contempt of court order filed against two of its writers who authored the book on Barry Bonds' alleged steroid use, the paper says that, quote, without confidentiality, the press cannot effectively service the public by keeping it informed, end quote. The court issued the contempt order when the writers refused to give up the sources who provided them with secret grand jury testimony. And I know everybody looks at me, I'm a journalist, and you're going to say automatically you're going to defend these journalists. Absolutely, without question. And the reason I'm going to do that is very, very simple. The information that people pontificate about and they give opinions about and they go on and on about, you don't get that information if you can't protect sources. If you can't protect your sources, guess what? Nobody's going to give you any information. And if nobody's going to give you any information, you're never going to find out the truth and if you don't find out the truth everybody gets away with everything and we live in a lawless society in every sense of the word y'all better think about that and stand up america and support mark fenerawada and lance williams they deserve your full and unwavering support nobody came out and said their information is false with any degree of proof and barry bonds had an opportunity to do it when they called him out and the only thing that he objected to was them profiting off of it this is they called they dogged them and still all he said was they just didn't have the right to profit off of it the man didn't say they were lying think about that next up nothing but attorneys that's what the National Basketball Association is beginning to look like after the Players Union filed an unfair labor practice suit against the league for its crackdown on player complaints and issues with the new ball. There have been scores of complaints about the new microfiber ball introduced this season, as well as the league's so-called zero tolerance policy. Said union rep Billy Hunter, quote, our obligation to represent our membership dictates the filing of these actions. With all due respect, that's garbage. Billy Hunter, who I have respect for, and I want to make sure that's made very clear, was negligent in his duty. The Players Association, to some degree, was negligent. Why? Because you negotiate these things during collective bargaining. That during the collective bargaining negotiations, that's what this all comes down to. If you had negotiated during collective bargaining, Commissioner Stern wouldn't be in a position to, do, to act with autonomy and act unilaterally and do whatever he wants to do. Billy Hunter and them didn't do their job, and now they're throwing the equivalent of a Hail Mary, hoping somebody catches something and something gets done to hide the fact that they were negligent in protecting the players in this particular circumstance. Billy Hunter has been invited to this show, and he is more than welcome to come on and to answer those charges. But I'm charging you right now with negligence because, damn it, that's exactly what you are. That's what the Players Association was, and the players should be looking at you guys and saying, how did you let this happen? Plain and simple. I know it ain't popular, but so what? That does it for three and out. When I come back, everybody knows that Muhammad Ali was the greatest fighter in the history of the game. But does anybody realize he could have been one of the greatest rappers if he'd only picked up the mic? Public enemies, Chuck D's in the house to talk about Ali rap and get the champ's words out to the streets. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Quite frankly, with Stephen A. Smith, brought to you by Lincoln. Reach higher. And Radio Shack for the perfect holiday gifts. Get to your neighborhood Radio Shack today. This holiday season, leave the perfect hint for your wish list. Dreams come true during the Lincoln Mercury Wish List event. Featuring the new Lincoln MKZ, 263 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and award-winning interior. All wrapped up in one luxurious package. Find the ultimate holiday gift from the newest family of luxury vehicles during the Lincoln Mercury Wish List event. Baby. Go down to Radio Shack and ask them what I want in a wireless phone or, or plan. Because I have looked everywhere and I still have no clue. MP3s, cameras, streaming stuff, Bluetooth. What is Bluetooth? I don't know. But the guys at Radio Shack do. Together, you can sort it out. So I'm no good at multitasking. Radio Shack, your neighborhood wireless store. What is it you want, Barry? You, you want the moon? Hmm. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Mary. Give her a gift of gold from K Jewelers. Gold makes the moment wonderful. Why don't you kiss her instead of talking at her dance? Every kiss begins with K. What's better than a movie with beer and babes? The unrated version. I like that. Oh, this just gets better and better. Beer Fest. Grab a case. Buy the unrated DVD Tuesday.